globalization and its consequences after 25 years. In India, globalization has meant globalization of prices, Indianization of incomes. So a few people have benefited massively and the ma vast majority of the Indian masses have suffered serious deprivation. In fact, um, inequality has grown faster in India than anywhere else, any other major country in the last 15 years. As of today, 1% of Indians own 58.4% of total household wealth, which is far greater than the 42% owned by the top 1% in the USA. So inequality has grown, criminalization of dissent has grown. The country is now ruled by an alliance of uh, socio-religious fundamentalists and economic market fundamentalists. Globalization has done wonderful things for the top 1% of the population or less. But actually, you know, we call it globalization. It's, an, it's a descriptive term, it's not an analytical term. What you're talking really about is the era of finance capital, global finance capital. You're talking about capitalism in a particular phase. So I think it's very important that we had this seminar and an examination of what it has done in the last 25 years to the Indian public, particularly to the poor and the marginalized, which has been devastating. நாளங்கள் இடிநாதங்கள் புதியொரு நாடின் சொப்னங்கள் டிவைஎஃப்ஐ பத்தாவது அகில இந்தியா சம்மேளனம் பிப்ரவரி ஒன்று முதல் அஞ்சு வரை எர்ணாகுளத்து